Good evening, folks, and welcome to the Sunday night, August 2nd, uh, studentloanjustice.org live stream. It is Sunday night. My name is Alan Collins, uh, reporting to you from central northern Wisconsin. I hope everybody had a great week. Um, I'm just going to jump right into it. We are studentloanjustice.org. We are the oldest, largest, and really only citizens group of any significant size out there truly fighting for student loan justice. For the first 15 years of our existence, uh, we were featured on 60 Minutes and New York Times and Los Angeles Times and many other places, Fox News, Vice News, Rolling Stone Magazine. Um, and during that first 15 years, we were very moderately fighting for the return of bankruptcy protections to student loans. I know it doesn't sound too sexy, and it's not. Uh, uh, we gave Congress every chance possible, from Hillary Clinton's Student Borrower Bill of Rights Act in 2007 uh, to our current efforts to push S-1414 and H.R. 2648, two bills that would, yeah, return bankruptcy protections to student loans. But you know, folks, Congress has had 15 years. We now owe nearly $2 trillion in student loan debt. This is now a failed lending system. If you have student loans, the chances are 80% that you will never be able to repay your loans. And those aren't my words. Uh, those come from the recent, re recently resigned head of the federal student loan program, Wayne Johnson. Uh, by the way, if you happen to live in Georgia, Wayne is running for Senate and he is calling for bankruptcy protections. But more importantly, Wayne is calling for loan cancellation. So I hope that you would support him if you happen to live in Georgia or know people who do. So we started a petition in March calling for the cancellation of all federally owned student loans. This is about 90, 85 or 90 percent of all student loans. And I'm very happy to tell you folks, as of right now, we have something like 540 or so thousand signatures, which is a great start. Um, but folks, um, I think that we need to get at least 1 million signatures in order to be taken seriously by the media and by others. Um, so if you forget everything that I said tonight, remember, if you want to get these loans gone, get at least 10 people that you know, with student loans or without, to sign our petition. You can see it linked, I think, below this or maybe to the side or something, depending on what kind of interface you're using. Um, very important. You know, we've, we're over the first hurdle. We've got a significant number of signers. But now everybody who already signed, we are the pioneers, folks. We've got to step up. We've got to pull a little bit more than our weight. So we're asking everybody to, over the next week or so, get 10 people to sign this petition. I know most people read that and hear that and they're like, oh, yeah, somebody else will do it. No, they won't. They will not. It's up to you. If you want that to happen, then be the change you want to see. Make it happen yourself. If you know 10 people with student loans, eight of them are freaking out. Eight of them will never be able to repay their loans. Eight of them should be very happily and enthusiastically signing our petition. Um, now, one quick point. We've been doing this for many years, folks, and we've seen many loan cancellation programs be proposed, some of them even be enacted into law, uh, others not. But I'm here to tell you that all the loan cancellation programs that we're hearing about right now are all nonsense. <laughs> now, we supported Bernie Sanders. We supported Elizabeth Warren because of their stands on bankruptcy for student loans, but even their loan cancellation proposals were garbage. They all, all the stuff that we're hearing about in the media right now re requires Congress to pass a law that raises money so that they can pay for this loan cancellation. Well, that on its face is just absurd. You know, the federal government owns 85 or more percent of all student loans. The president could cancel those loans tomorrow without needing to raise one dime of new tax money, without adding one penny to the national debt. Frankly, I am shocked, disappointed, and stunned that the president hasn't done this already. You know, President Trump said that he was going to drain the swamp. Well, the student loan swamp is very strong, and we have yet to see Donald Trump do anything meaningful on the student loan problem. 
So it really comes down to our petition, folks. You cannot trust Congress to pass anything meaningful by way of loan cancellation. It just won't happen. And whatever law, whatever muddy, whatever partial, lame, half-measure, half-witted, poorly designed uh, loan cancellation program Congress might pass, The Department of Education has proven time and time and time again it has no intentions of canceling any loans. No desire, no intentions. Look at the Public Service Loan Forgiveness Program. The success rate for that loan cancellation program is 0.8%. This is what we can expect if Congress passes some lame, half-hearted, half-measure, partial loan cancellation program. No. We're not doing that. And you shouldn't buy into it. You shouldn't let yourself be um, demotivated and made complacent because you think that Congress is going to solve this problem. They are not. This comes down to an executive order by the president, whether it's President Trump or the next president. This is a failed lending system, folks. It's failed. You know, nobody is paying on their loans right now. And come September 30th, If this payment suspension expires, very few people, maybe nobody, depending on how the dynamics go in the country, will happily resume making payments. It's just not going to happen. So this could have a good outcome or it could have a bad outcome. The good outcome is that the president does what is right, acknowledges this failed lending system for what it is, resets the debt zeroes out the debt by executive order, which he can do, by the way. The Higher Education Act of 1965, as amended, gives the Secretary of Education and, by extension, the president, all the power they need to waive or release their interest in these loans. That is what has to happen, folks. That is why our petition is so important. We are the only group right now that's really pushing for this. So... You know, I don't want to put too much pressure on you, but we're it, folks. You and I, we are the tip of the spear. So I can only hope, pray, beg, plead. Um, I don't know what else I can do to encourage you to take this very seriously. These are your loans. This is your problem. Your financial livelihood, your future lies in the balance here, um, truly. So... Come on, guys. Um, We're doing everything that we possibly can on this end to make this happen. Um, But you've got to step up. You know, last week we put put a call out, uh, a very strong call for all the members to help push the petition. And lo and behold, we got like 200,000 signatures in um, just a few days. And that's great. But we need to double down and triple down on that. Um, And hopefully change.org will help us a little bit too. I think they did last week. But anyways... um, It's very important, folks. Very important. You know, you can boost the petition, which means you pay a little bit of money and it gets shown more times. It turns out that one third of our signatures come from that. So I strongly encourage you to do it. If you've got any extra money that you could possibly um, see fit to spend on this. Uh, It's money well spent. I'm not a huge fan of giving money, giving money to change.org, but whatever. It does work. Um, If you don't have any money to donate, I, I get that. Believe me, (laughs) we, we, on this end, um, have a hard time just meeting our basic obli- monthly obligations every month. So I, I get that. So your efforts are probably more valuable than any money that you might donate um, or spend on change.org. Uh, you know, just pasting the link to the petition in 10 different places is great. Calling a news organization and telling them to report on the petition is fantastic. Um, but you know, don't be limited to that. We're all smart people. We all at least went to college. So presumably we're kind of smart. Um, do whatever you can do according to your own skills, talents, networks, etc. Um, it truly starts with you. So, um, you know, I'm going to try and keep it kind of short here tonight. It is uh, Sunday night. Um, I wanted to thank all of the artists that sent in artwork for us. You know, the graphic that we were using on the petition, quite frankly, it was inappropriate. We were using the I'm just a bill motif from Schoolhouse Rock, if anybody of a certain age remembers that from when we were kids. Uh, And it just makes no sense. You know, we're not pushing for legislation, except for the bankruptcy thing. On student loan cancellation, there's no legislation to push. There is no bill. There is only a president's executive order. 
So, um, yeah, we put out a call for artwork and got a great, great response. Just uh, in the past 24 hours, we've gotten something like, I want to say 12 or 13 or 14 submissions. Um, so, unfortunately, I had to kind of put the cutoff on that because we're getting a little bit overwhelmed. Uh, but we did get some good stuff. Uh, if you go to the petition, you can see it. You can see the very first one that we're rolling out. Um, it's actually just stick figure art. <laughs> But it was just so simple. It was just it wasn't even meant to be the final thing. It was just a sketch that an artist sent to me. But I was like, you know, maybe simpler is better. So, so we're starting out our, um, I guess you could say, our artist gallery on the petition. Uh, there, I hope that you will um, support the artists that are doing this art. You know, it's really important, folks. This is not a watch it happen, you know, movement. It's not like somebody's just going to run and do all your work for you, you know, and the artists out there, I guess many, if not most of them are struggling severely financially. Um, so please support our artists that do this stuff. Um, I put a link to the artist who did the current thing on our Facebook group. So either up or down, I think I pinned it at the top of this group. So just throw in a couple bucks if you would, please. You know, um, I think, Art can change the world, and I think artists, except for a precious few, are almost always struggling. And come on, guys, this is a group effort, and we need to help each other out on this. Um, so please throw a couple ducats in for the artist, and we'll be rolling out art like this um, for the next probably two weeks. I'm thinking we'll do like two to three days per, um, per graphic. So stay tuned. We've got a lot more uh, artwork to roll out here. Um, but please do support it, folks. You know, um, you got to put something into this effort. I'm, I'm just saying. Um, you know, a lot of people like me are putting a ton of time in, and that's great. Time and effort is probably more valuable than any money that you might donate. Um, but then again, you know, as I said, um, artists are typically struggling and I should say, we as an organization are always struggling, but ugh, I don't even want to talk about that anymore. But if you want to donate to us, please go to studentlandjustice.org, and that would help significantly. Um, but first and foremost, throw something in to support the artists, eh? Um, they deserve it, they need it, and who knows? We could have the next Andy Warhol on our group, and we don't even know it. So um, you never know. So help out there. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I know a lot of people don't want to speak out publicly about canceling student loan debt because people typically from the right will jump their you-know-what. Um, and I know one of the most common th criticisms that I get, anyways, is from people They go, hey, I paid off my student loans. Do I get my money back? Or I paid my student loans. Why should I pay for your student loans, too? Well, here's what you say to those people. Oh, you were able to pay your student loans? what, like 20 or 30 years ago, probably? Well, whatever the case, whenever they were able to repay their student loans, I salute you, I congratulate you, and I must say I'm impressed and glad for you that you were able to repay your student loans. But nothing that these people can possibly say, do, think, feel, emote, um, judge, etc., will alter the fact that this is a failed lending system. It's failed. 80% of all federal student loan borrowers will never be able to repay their loans. And there's nothing that anybody can say to alter that fact. It's a failed lending system. It's got to go. Now, to people who recently repaid their student loans, I have some compassion for them. You know, I see their point. I think I would, if I had repaid $50,000, $100,000 into my loans and then the next day they cancel them, I'd be pretty pissed. And I get that. But, you know, when they ended slavery, I'm guessing that... Among the last generation of slaves, there were some older slaves that were like, wait a minute, what? No, that's bullshit. Well, you know, I don't know what to tell you. Um, but whatever uh, people in the past went through, which I salute, commend, and congratulate, and applaud them for, that has nothing to do with this problem right now here today. Right now here today, the vast majority of all student loan borrowers will never be able to pay their loans back. It is a failed unconstitutional, viciously predatory, big government monstrosity. 
And by the way, the people that wag their fingers at you, like the example that I just mentioned, they usually consider themselves to be conservatives. But here they are wagging their fingers at the victims of these predatory loans. And I don't like to throw the word victims around too much, but I have to tell you, we were set up for a big fail by this lending system. And now it's over the cliff. That's not our problem anymore, really. Um, and you might also tell the conservative people that are wagging their fingers at you. You know, while they're wagging their fingers at us, what they're really succeeding in accomplishing is perpetuating this national threat of a lending system, this big government monstrosity. They are enabling it, perpetuating it, and ensuring that it will be inflicted on uh, tens or hundreds of millions of citizens to follow in our footsteps. They're being played for a fool by the colleges, by the lending system, um, by big government, all things that they tend not to like. You know, profits from this lending system, at least some of them are being used to fund Obamacare. Now, we don't take any, we're a nonpartisan group, and we don't take any stand on Obamacare. But conservatives do not like Obamacare. And so here they are, getting up on their high horse, wagging their finger at you. Uh, and while they're doing that, they're being played for a fool by the worst big government monstrosity this country has ever seen domestically. Shame on them. Tell them to turn in their conservative cards because they've been played and they're fools. But you know, more than that, folks, I have found the hard way. Even though I love shutting these people down, sometimes it's better not to get too wrapped up. Sometimes it's better just to go with what's working. You know, we, there's 55 million people in the country who either have student loans or are co-signed on them. They feel the weight of this unconstitutional lending system on their backs. They feel the pain. Those are the people that we need to be reaching out to. I really, at this point, I've got no time, uh, patience, or energy to put into our opposition because they will suck that energy right out of us. And nine times out of 10, it almost doesn't matter what you say to the critics. They will never, ever, ever, ever come around to agreeing with you. If you're looking them in the eye, that's one thing. If it's a one-on-one -on -one thing, but if you're on the internet and their whole purpose in life is just to win an argument so they wind up talking past you, not listening to any of your points, and it's just energy wasted. So, you know, don't even bother, I would say, generally. Um, Stick to reaching out to people who this problem affects. 55 million people in the country is enough to nearly elect a president outright. These are the people we need to find. They're everywhere. It's one in five adults, one in seven humans in this country, or at least citizens. Um, so they're not hard to find. And, but obviously we can't do it here. You know, we are very, very lean national I wouldn't even call us an organization. I would say we are a very lean national group. We are as grassroots as grassroots gets. So everybody has to really put in their own time, work, effort, etc. You can't sit back and watch and worry and wait and hope that somebody's going to pull your weight for you because it just ain't going to happen. Um, you've got to own this problem. And, you know, I would say particularly for those of you with a little bit of time on your hands uh, in these most recent coronavirus months, use that time in a productive way way to get rid of this problem by growing our petition. Um, just one last point. You know, we've gotten some pretty good media on this. We've been interviewed by Fox News uh, Radio, um, Minneapolis Progressive Radio twice. Um, we've done interviews with a ton of people, um, and I'm waiting to see some stories. Uh, we've been quoted recently in a piece by Matt Taibbi, although he doesn't mention the petition. Um, status coup, C-SPAN, you know, we've, we've gotten some fairly good media, but we need way more news organizations reporting on this petition. And we are at the strength now, the size, 540,000 people, where, you know, I would say most news organizations, particularly national news organizations, almost have a duty at this point to report on this. It is newsworthy. And what we are promoting, nobody else is promoting. All of the other loan cancellation programs, as I said earlier, they're nonsense. They're just not workable. This, 
this executive order is absolutely the way to go. Whether it's Donald Trump or the next president, this is what's got to happen. So, um, you know, I will just wrap it up there, folks. Uh, I hope that you all are hanging in there. And I hope that you're all very encouraged by the great progress that we're making. I mean, I'm kind of stunned myself. Um, but as I said, it starts with you. If you can get 10 people to sign this petition, if you can get a news organization to report on this petition, you will be pulling your weight. So I hope that's not too, too much to ask. These are, as I said, your loans, your problem, not just mine. And our 50 or 75 uh, state chapter leaders and co-leaders, um, your problem. So step up. Keep us posted as you make accomplishments, not, oh, I called 30 people today. No, 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 we don't care about that. What we care about is results. If you get a news thing done, if you get 10 people to sign, let us know. And, you know, we'd like to brag about that, brag on you about that to the general membership so as to encourage them. I know this is a kind of a crappy topic and nobody even wants to think about it a lot of times. It's very hard to get motivated. Um, but your work your efforts, and most importantly, your accomplishments really can go a long way towards encouraging other people to get off the stick. So please do that. Um, the last thing I will say, and I hate to say it, but if you can donate, please do it. Um, as I said, I think earlier or on previous live streams, we survive only and totally on donations from you, uh, our, our members, and they tend to be distressed student loan borrowers. So it can be very tough even to meet our basic monthly obligations, just you know, rent, utilities, internet, phone, just the stuff that we need to do this work. Um, so please help if you can. Uh, um, it's been particularly difficult on us since this coronavirus happened. I get that. Um, but if you can, if you can spare anything to help this fight continue, please do so. Um, it really kind of sucks being on the ragged edge of like non-existence as a group <laughs> for for la the lack of the nickels and dimes, almost literally nickels and dimes that we need to uh, operate this group. So please help if you can. Um, and I will leave it at that. Let's make this week count, folks. We've got like 95 or four days before the general election. I would like to get this done by the election. I would like to see Donald Trump actually do this in October or earlier. I mean, it's highly appropriate that this happened. As I said, it is a failed lending system, and uh, you know, um, uh, electorally, this is a goldmine of votes for whichever candidate actually solves the problem. Whether it's a pledge from Joe Biden that, as president, he'll cancel all federal student loans by executive order, or if President Trump actually just goes and does it. Either way, um, that would be huge for us and for you and for the country. So. Come on, guys, help out here. Um, we're doing the best that we can, and you need to also. So I hope you get that. Uh, have a great week. Um, and as I said, keep stay tuned for this artwork that's coming up. It's pretty cool. Um, and, uh, you know, Godspeed and God bless. Peace.